matter okay so this is a very interesting topic pattern matching text matching is very important in whole of internet you search google and all so this is one of the most efficient method so let's try to see what happens here is that we are given a pattern let's say this and we are given a text okay so in the given text you need to find that pattern okay and so what we do is that based on the pattern we first find the alphabet so this is a symbol for alphabet so we try to know what are the different possible alphabets and then we try to construct a state machine so what happens here is that let's say we have some text okay and then we try to find the pattern a b a b a c a which is of length 7 so what we do so we start here and let's say if we have something written as a b c c b a b a b a c a b b b okay so this is the text and now you have to find if this pattern exists okay a b a b a c a so what we do we start from here and in this state machine we feed the input okay so what happens here is after you learn this algorithm so you will have so you see that in our text which is a simple text now it has in its alphabet only three letters a b and c and then what happens we construct a state machine where if you have match you have to match the whole of the pattern and if you match till some particular prefix then you go to that particular so if the prefix length is 3 if we have matched a b a then we are at state 3 if we haven't matched anything yet we are at state 0 and when we have matched all the seven letters we are at state 7 which is the accepting state okay so what happens here is that we first do some string pre-processing that is necessary for constructing this table so now what happens is that let's assume for now that we have this table so what happens we start to match a so a we get a it means now that okay till this part a is matching so we now move from state 0 to state 1 because we got an a if we got a b in the first letter so we would not be matching any of the prefix till now so we would be in state 0 itself if we got a c as a first letter in the text we would still be at state 0 then what happens if we go to b so now b what happens if we have a text a b so now we when i was after processing a we were at state 1 and from where there if we get b then we go to state 2 which means i have matched till ab which is the prefix 2 of this pattern but then what happens if you see here so we get a c which means abc we get and from state 1 if i get a c i go to state 0 which means now again nothing is matching so abc so now this text is so this pattern cannot be found here and hence we go to state 0 next what happens again we get a c so if we get a c we are at state 0 we get a c we still remain in st state 0 because there is now also nothing is matching from this pattern so something matches if what happens if we have some text like a b a b then we have matched till four letters of this pattern and we have to match the complete a b a b a c a okay so this state shows that if a b a b has been matched till now in this so if we had some text which got something like a b a b 
then we have matched till state 4 and we will be in state 4 for receiving the next letter C. But if we receive a letter C here, so what happens? We were at state 4. If we receive a C, we go to state 0. Now this pattern cannot be found. This whole pattern cannot be found with this prefix. So what happens? Now we move and let's see for this example A, B, C, C. So we were at state 0, we receive a C, we remain at state 0. Then we get a B. With B also from state 0, if you receive B, so the pattern doesn't start. So you remain again in state 0. Now if we get an A, so what happens again from state 0, which means that no, 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 no prefix has been matched till now. So we get an A and then we again jump to state 1. Because now first at least prefix of length 1 is matching. Okay. And this state I here SI shows that prefix of length I has been already matched. So we come here and our prefix of length has 1 has been matched. We are in state 1. We get a B. So we see from this table that what happens now with B. So our matching is of prefix length 2. Again, we get an A. So if you are in state 2 and you get an A, you move to state 3, which means a prefix of length 3 has been matched. Again, if we are in state 3. Okay, so for example, here, if we receive a C, then again, A, B, A, C doesn't become any prefix. Okay, so everything will be lost. But A, B, A, B again, if you get so we go to state 4 with a b a b again if we get in state 4 if we get an what happens we are in state 4 and if we get an a we go to state 5 then we receive a 6 so in state 5 if you receive a c you go to state 6 and in state 6 if you receive an a you go to state 7 so this is the idea that okay so if this is the state machine and we have to match the complete pattern but let's say in the text if we have found till a b a c c c b so if here and here we don't match any prefix of this pattern i go here a b a i have found a prefix of length 3 but then again when i get a c so I was at state 3 and now I get a C so I go to state 0 which means now again I have to start matching from the beginning. So we have matched the whole pattern which means a prefix of length 7 itself we have to match. Okay. So this is the idea. So we do a string pre-processing and from that basically we make a state machine where we move further only if we get the prefix that extra matching is done one more length alphabet comes in it then we say that okay our we go to the next level okay but if it is not matched okay for example let's see in this we are in state 5 so state 5 means what we have a b a b a till here we have matched our text has something a b a b a is there and we are waiting for the next character. So if you get a C, then what will happen? We will go to next state 6 because 6 length prefix has been matched. But what happens if we get an A? So let's try to see this. What happens if we get an A and what happens if we get a B? So if we get an A, so now what is happening? So A, B, A, B, A, A. So now you see that our matching. So this all A, B, A, B matching has gone. A. So this now maximum it is matching is a prefix length of 1. Okay. So we were almost completely done till here. 5 letters had been matched. But suddenly a wrong thing came. A. And now our prefix length matching is maximum of A. So that's why we moved from state 5 to state 1. But instead, if it was a letter B, 
then still we had gone into something much better than the state one with a b a b a b at least okay so the next letter was not as expected as c but still we have a pattern from here to here it is a b a b so we still have a match of length 4 so we only go in state 5 and if again we get a c then we go to state 6 and then so like this okay so this is the state machine which has to be run for that text and from that you will get and if you somehow reach state 7 it means your whole pattern has matched okay so this is the idea so first thing is you have to construct this table okay and this table is of length how much so this is a b c so how many alphabets you have so this is the size of the alphabet into the number of states that is equal to the number of length of your pattern plus one okay so this is there now let's try to see how we build this state machine because this is the most important part if you build this state machine the finite automata then you just have to pass your text through it and it will automatically give you the match okay so compute the transition function which is basically to construct this table so what you need to do you should have the pattern and all the alphabets that are there in the text then we find the length of the pattern and then for all the states we try to find that okay if i am in state 2 then what are the texts that are letters that are possible because our alphabet consists of only a b c then i can either get a or b or c so we have to find that okay our pattern matching goes into which state so that is the thing we have to do for each of the states and state here means if i am in state i it means in our text we have matched till prefix length i of the pattern okay so for q from 0 to m we are trying to fill up the table for all the states and then for each state all the characters that are possible in the alphabet so k is minimum of q comma m comma q plus 1 so let's see what is this so if we are in state let's say i so what it means when i am having some text a b a b a something like this so it means when i am in state i of that matching it means prefix of length i has matched okay i has matched already so if this is the case then what happens so when i get the next input so here what happens k is minimum of m so maximum matching you need is m and minimum is that is we have already in the state i so if the next character is the in the pattern then we will go to i plus one so for example if we are here and having a state a b a b and if we get another a here so from state i i will go to i plus one only if the next character is the fifth element okay so that is the idea so from state i i can go to state i plus one or something lesser than that so i can go to state i plus one only if i get the next matching character so hence it is saying that k and now let's see what happens now what i want so from this next letter so whatever is the alphabet from the text so let's say a b a b i have done and next letter can be a or b or c if i have alphabet of this or if i have a english alphabet this will go a b c d e till z so whatever comes next so you have to find now in your finite automata which state you will go to okay so this line what it does is tries to find out that if the next character is the letter whatever letter comes next okay then which state we will go to okay so let's try to see from here 
let's say that we are in state 5 okay so state 5 means what we already have got in the text a b a b a is already there next letter we are waiting which can be a b c so if it is a then let's see what happens okay so i will rub some of this text and then let's try to see okay so what happens so here what happens if we are at state 5 and we get an a so we have a b a b a and then we get an a so next then we try to find what is the maximum possible state i can go to it is i plus 1 which means 6 but this is not a prefix length 6 so this prefix is not matching with the this is not matching with a b a b a c so here this is wrong so i cannot have a prefix 6 matching then i go for prefix 5 so i start from here b a b a a is this matching is this a prefix of a b a b a c a the pattern so no then i start with a prefix of length 4 so this one a b a a is it matching is it a prefix of length 4 here no b a a i go to length 3 the suffix b a a this is also not a prefix a a this is also not a prefix of pattern a a is a pattern so it is a length one pattern so i that's why now i come to state one so this is the idea but what happens if i get a b a b a is there and i next if i get a b so what happens so i was expecting maximum length six prefix a b a b a b it is not matching with the six length prefix here i go to length 5 b a b a b it is not matching any prefix here a b a b so this is matching with prefix of length 4 so i come to state 4 here okay so this line basically finds for me the prefix maximum prefix length that it matches now and hence delta q so i was in state q and if i get an alphabet a i go to state k so this table now helps me to this algorithm helps me to construct the table and what will be the complexity of this one so this q runs from 0 to m so m plus 1 times it will run this is the for each character a so this will run mod sigma times and then what happens k is minimum of m comma q plus 1 so this will run for whatever pattern length is there so maximum length can be m so this will run m times so what will happen if you see and if this is also small so this will be theta of m square mod sigma okay so this will be the complexity of our algorithm so it will be so m plus 1 here and for each character here so this will run and we have to find k is minimum of this repeat this so this will be the complexity and now let's see that if we have got that algorithm the table constructed then what we need to do we just need to go through the text alphabets q is 0 for i from 1 to n we are just going for the text from left to right and q is delta q comma text ith text we take and whatever state we go if q is m it means we have found one pattern and it is at shift i minus m so this runs in theta of n time so this is the idea about pattern matching using finite automata and this is very interesting i hope you understand this so thanks a lot